In this video, we are going to study about pollination and the types of pollination such as autogamy, gaitanogamy and xenogamy. We already studied that pollen grains are present inside the anther of the stamen. These pollen grains possess the male gamete which are non-motile or incapable of movement. These pollen grains need to be taken to the surface of the stigma so that the next activity of fertilization can be facilitated. Even the egg, the female gamete which are present inside the ovule are also non-motile. Therefore, certain agencies like butterflies, honeybees, birds, etc. are needed as agents for the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma. This process of transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigmatic surface is known as pollination. Pollination is defined as the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the surface of the stigma which is the female part. This process is facilitated by insects, birds, butterflies. They are called the pollinating agents. Pollination is classified into two types. They are self-pollination and cross-pollination. When the pollen grains of the anther fall on the stigma of the same flower or other flowers of the same plant is known as self-pollination. Self-pollination is further divided into two types such as autogamy and gaitanogamy. Autogamy and gaitanogamy are the two types of self-pollination. When the pollen grains of a flower fall onto the stigma of the same flower, this is known as autogamy. Autogamy are very common in cleistogamous flowers. See, this is the flower, cleistogamous flowers. Examples are Viola, Oxalis, Comalina and Arachis. What are cleistogamous flowers? The flowers in which the anthers and stigma lie close to each other and which do not open or expose are called cleistogamous flowers. Therefore, here the pollination will be always autogamous. Cleistogamous flowers produce their seeds even in the absence of pollinators. Flowers with the exposed or open anthers and stigma are called chasmogamous flowers. In chasmogamous flowers, the anthers and stigma are exposed so that the pollination may be self or it may be cross pollination. Next is gaitanogamy. That means the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of another flower of the same plant. It is similar to autogamy but only difference is that the pollen grains of a flower is transferred to the stigma of another flower of the same plant. Next is cross-pollination. Cross-pollination is otherwise known as xenogamy. The transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a different flower of the same species on a different plant is called xenogamy or cross-pollination and it is essential for bringing about 
വാരിയേഷൻ